Hello, welcome to this Betfair preview of this weekend's Irish Electricity League action. To discuss all of that, I'm joined by Betfair's expert in Ireland, Daniel McDonnell. Now, Daniel, Sligo Rovers can win the league this weekend if they take full points at home against St. Patrick's Athletic. Do you think that's going to happen? I'm not so sure. I think St. Patrick's Athletic could be fairly confident going to Sligo. They haven't lost in 14 games, whereas I think Sligo in recent weeks have shown some evidence that perhaps you know the nerves are taking hold. They still haven't lost any of those games. They've had a couple of drop points that maybe they'd be disappointed with. So I think coming into this game, while Sligo know that a win will secure them the title, I think in, in a way the main thing is not to lose because they will then still be six points clear with two, two games to go and very much in control of their own destiny. Uh, it should be an entertaining game, but I'm not necessarily convinced that this is going to be the end of the league. And what bets would you recommend, Daniel? Well, strangely enough, I... I still have a slight suspicion that Sligo might take the lead on the basis that while Pats have to go there and attack, they have to go there and win, it might leave them in a situation where they could be vulnerable on the, on the counter-attack, which is maybe a little bit unusual for an away team. Um, but Sligo are, are quite effective in that department. So in terms of looking at the bet, I sort of have a sneaking suspicion that Sligo might actually lead in this game. Uh, but in the second half, when some Pats sort of have a... I guess there's a degree of desperation about the situation then that they are capable of maybe pulling level and, and finishing with a draw on the night. Now, it depends on, on the trading prices in terms of the real value in terms of 90 minutes, but I think maybe Sligo to lead at half-time and a draw at full-time could be value. And then perhaps laying Sligo in the 90 minutes might, might prove to be the way to go. And if some people like a correct score... I guess I'm leaning towards a one-all draw. But it should be a good game. But, you know, Pats aren't the most free-scoring side in the world. That's been the problem this year. So maybe a, a one-all draw on the night and the league to, to go on for one more week. Now, 24 hours earlier, there's international football at the Aviva Stadium as the Republic of Ireland take on a rather fearsome Germany side. Do you think Giovanni Trabatoni's team has any chance? It's difficult. I mean, you know, they're, they're playing one of the best sides in Europe. And as Euro 2012 showed... I guess when Ireland came up against three of the best sides in Europe, they were hopelessly exposed. The problem, again, is that they're coming into the Germany game this week with a depleted side relative to that Euros team. They've been very unlucky with injuries. They've lost Glenn Whelan and Sean St. Ledger over the weekend, two certain starters on top of you know, Shea Given retiring, uh, Damien Duff retiring, Richard Dunn is injured. So... Really, on paper, it's very hard to construct you know, a case for Ireland to get a result from this game. The only thing you would say is that they've changed their system a little bit to try and make them more solid, to play three central midfielders, and maybe that might give them some hope. But, but overall, it's, it's hard to be very optimistic about the, the home side, the home crowd, having anything to cheer about. And what bets should punters be looking at here, Daniel? Well, unfortunately, you know, Maybe in the past, I mean, Germany came to Dublin back in 2007 and sat off and it ended up being a nil-all draw because the away side, as they often are in international football, were very relaxed about the, I guess, you know, they were happy to let Ireland have the ball. I think if they've done their homework in Ireland, they'll find that the way to unsettle them is to get at them early, um, put them under pressure, don't let them relax. And as we found, Ireland conceded first half goals in all three games in the Euros against good teams. Um, against Russia in the, in the last qualifying campaign, Russia went three goals up with a sort of aggressive approach away from home. And I think if Germany repeat that, um, they're going to win the game and I think they could lead early. So in terms of the bets, I think certainly Germany half-time, full-time, it's going to be a better price, obviously, than Germany to win, but it's still going to be trading short enough. But I think maybe if you're looking for maybe a little bit more value, I think a goal and, you know, maybe split the money between not to 11 minutes and 11 to 20 minutes in, in, the, in, in the context of the first goal of the game. And overall, I think more than 2.5 goals and Germany perhaps to come out 3-1 on top. Ireland might make some subs in the second half that would give them a, a better chance of maybe registering on the score sheet because Germany are down a couple of defenders. But overall, I think Germany to win quite comfortably. Well, that's it from this Betfair preview of the Airtricity Irish Premier League with a look at that World Cup qualifier as well. So from Daniel McDonnell and from me, Dave Farah, goodbye.